Hello and a very good day everyone. So today we will learn how to construct a dashboard using the get formula. As you can see on your right hand side, these are the procedures that you can use to build a dashboard. But before we go to the procedures, we need to look at our information. So in the information over here, we do have the list of football clubs followed by the respective financial years, 2017, 2018 and 2019. So now we are going to create a dashboard or perhaps a dynamic chart using the DGAT formula, okay? So the first thing is we need to put our cursor over here, all right? And then we go to data, okay? We go to data ribbon, and then we go to data tools, data validation, and then we click here, and then we click list, okay? So you have the source. So what you do is you click the arrow and you highlight the entire details. There you go, all right? And then you press enter. So now you have the drop down list. You have, you can click Chelsea, you can click Arsenal, and even you can click West Ham United. Okay, all right. So to recap, how to create a, a data validation drop-down list? You go to data, you go to data validation, a box will appear, and then you go to list, and then you click the source, and then you highlight all this, and then you press OK. Okay, so now you have the list. Okay, the next thing what we need is we need to do a dget formula. So equal dget. So dget means database get. So what is database? As you can see here, when you click, uh, when you press open bracket, you have three different arguments. Database, field, criteria. So database, meaning this is your database. All right. And then after that, you have field. Field means which is your column. And then followed by your criteria. Okay, so this is your criteria, and then you close bracket, so you have this, okay, and then you press Control R, and then there you go. So now if just say you were to click LC, you notice you have 38, 38, 37, which is the same, and if they say you click West Ham United, you have the same figures as well. All right, so what we are going to do is we are going to create a dynamic chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this, alternate F1, so that you have the information over here. All right, so I'm going to remove the grid lines and put data labels, okay? At the same time, I'm going to click uh, select data, a box will appear, press edit, and then highlight all this. And then I press okay, and then press here. So now you have the information over here. So now you just see, I click Arsenal. You notice that the graph will change automatically. And then when I click, just say Liverpool, so you notice the graph changes automatically. And when I click Manchester United, you notice that the graph changes automatically. So basically, this is how to build a simple dashboard using the DGAT formula. 